What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Now today we're here with a brand new Pirate Rumble video and I know I don't really get around to doing these too often but there was recently released a brand new Pirate Rumble character and I have done summons for it. If you guys haven't checked out the video yet make sure you go ahead and do that. There'll be a card at the top of the video. Ensure you go ahead and peep that out. But in today's video we're going to be breaking down a Dex team which I don't think I've actually showcased on the channel before. So this is the team that I have currently built right now now I don't really know if this is the most optimal or like the quote-unquote meta decks team but this is what I've built that we're going to be trying out today. Now, I did use quite a lot of my deck scrolls. Um, I already previously had my V2 Rayleigh completely maxed out for when he first came out. But I recently maxed out Legend Kid. I spent some on the Legend Nami. I spent some on Corazon. I maxed out the PvP Frankie, which I also pulled. And also, I decided to max out Buggy as well. Well, not really max out, but at least get his passive done as well. Um, so, the main showcase here is to be using Sober Mask. But definitely one of the most key units for decks teams is Legend Kid because he's got such a great passive that gives you an HP boost, it gives you a defense boost, his special does a lot of damage and also uh, will help out your Dex teammates as well. Legend Nami gives your team special CT reduction, Rayleigh below 60% has a fantastic passive, his special's okay as well but it's such a high CT which is a big problem, Sober Mask does a lot of damage, got a great passive as well, and Corazon is going to be a really good healer for our team, unfortunately my one is only at level 5 out of 10 for his special which may come back to bite us if, uh, if we do lack a lot of healing and we need to level up our characters or heal up our characters throughout the fight, but we're going to see how it goes, I don't know how successful this team's going to be, but I want to try and find some pretty decent opponents, some common opponents that you would normally see, and just see how this Dex team goes against those teams that we're going to be uh, experiencing today. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, this is going to be our first enemy today. Now, I feel like this is probably going to be a whitewash for us because the four-man slasher team is absurdly strong. But I want to see how this team performs against it. And if we're able to withstand the damage from Roger and Odin. Dofi also hits very hard. Kizaru is annoying to deal with. They have so much special CT reduction. It's going to be kind of worrying. But let's see how we perform with our Dex team. Now I've only really taken this Dex team into the uh, computer fight. I haven't gone up against other people's teams before. So this is going to be very interesting to see how we perform here. So you'll see that uh, at the start of the fight, we actually have pretty decent stats across the board. Some plenty of HP, got some good attack. Uh, defense and speed is a little lacking. So, you know, when they actually hit us, they're going to be hitting for pretty hard. But the big thing here is we do have some special CD reduction. The enemy also has a lot. Level 9 CT reduction for the slashes. Kizaru comes in. He hits very hard because the enemy has a lot of attack. 23 attack on the Roger is what I saw. That is ridiculous. Nami can paralyze the enemies, but the thing about the team is... Uh, is that the paralysis is such a low chance, which is a bit of a problem. And you can see how much damage they're doing there. Like, Dofi just hits so hard, and Odin, and it's basically a whitewash. Like, <laughs> okay, so Sober Mask gets knocked out, which is a bit of a problem, because he's such a useful member to our team. Is the Roger about to attack us? Okay, yeah, we're just dead. Like, there's literally nothing we can do. It's, uh, it's just completely GG at this point. Dang it, dude! Oh, man. Okay, so, <laughs> this just shows the power of Roger and Odin, and why they're used so frequently in PvP right now. They are so ridiculously strong. Even a four-man team like this just has absolutely no problems taking on a team like mine, which has, you know, nearly a full stack. So, it's just the way the cookie crumbles, man. As I said, I wasn't expecting to go well against it. Uh, but look, that's just, as I said, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Let's see if we can find a different team that potentially this Dex team may have a little bit of an easier time against. Our next enemy right here does have a fighter team. Now, I haven't actually come up against many fighter teams, but I only refreshed once, and I saw this team, I'm like, okay, this might be an interesting one to take on. So, it has Jack, who has some really annoying health cuts. Um, Jinbei also can be quite annoying to deal with, but I think definitely Carrot is going to be a big problem for our team, because her fixed damage is quite significant. And if we do not take out Otama ASAP, that could also be quite a big problem, because Otama does heal back a pretty decent amount of HP for the enemy so that's going to be a big priority for us making sure we take down otama and jack if he launches his special within the first 30 seconds which more often than not will happen he will actually give uh, a pretty good health cut to our team which is obviously not a good thing kung fu luffy when he attacks actually does a pretty good chunk and he does, has a really high chance to paralyze the units that he attacks 
So Kung Fu Luffy will also be a little bit of a problem. But again, you know, we've got some pretty good stats across the board here, which is nice to see. We've got Nami ready to do her special already. She doesn't really do that much damage, though. We do get the paralysis off on the Jack, which is actually pretty nice, but he will be able to launch. But we do get the, the Sober Mask to attack the Jack. He doesn't take him out, though, but then we get the Otama, which is going to heal back Jack almost to full. So this is what I'm saying. Otama is a big problem here. We do get the heal with Corazon, which is quite nice. If he was at max level 10, he probably would have fully healed Sober Mask there. So there you see, he does do the health cut there, but luckily it was past the 70 second timer, so he didn't get the secondary health cut, which is pretty nice. What does Jinbei actually do here? He does a bit of damage and he does some attack down, so yeah, that's not very good. But Kid, this is the big guy right here, does some pretty good damage there, so that's really, really nice to see. We've, we do actually have Rayleigh here as well. And there you see Kung Fu Luffy doing a pretty good chunk of damage and also paralyzing our units. Carrot coming in and actually didn't do too much there, which is pretty nice to see. Um, so once again, Otama's getting the heal. This is not looking good for us because especially when uh, when the Akainu comes in, he does more damage depending on what the timer is, I believe. And the fact that the timer is actually quite low right now is quite worrying because when he comes in, what's his, what's his CT currently? It's a little low, but taking him down is a big priority. Rayleigh's about to attack, which is beautiful. Does some really good fixed damage and buffs our team, which is great because Kid is almost ready to go. It would be nice to get his special launched because he's going to do really, really good for us. But we do get some nice healing there from Corazon, which is nice to see. Jack coming in with another health cut and also buffing his side of the team. This is a pretty back and forth game right now. Really, really close. Kid's going to come in now, which is beautiful. A lot of attack at the moment and does a really good chunk of damage there. 30 seconds left on the timer. The Akainu is going to be a bit of a problem once he launches his special. We get Sober Master come in really, really good there. So Sober is a great addition to these decks teams because he does so much damage when he gets a chance to attack and he actually attacks twice when the, when the timer is 40 seconds or less but because he already killed the enemies he was targeting wasn't a big problem we only have 15 seconds left but it looks like we're gonna get, gonna get the w and we do get the w which is awesome awesome to see so you can see the dex team going back and forth with one of those other lower meta teams so obviously as it shows the dex team is not going to be going up against you know the top tier teams but against some of the lower tier ones like the fighter teams potentially the shooter teams or something like that um, the dex team is going to have a little bit of a better chance again so that's awesome to see the deck team pull through there and now we move on to the final team of the video that we're going to go up against, which is going to be an Int team. Now, this is not the like most ideal Int team. There's no super type Katakuri, but hey, look, I've never seen a team built like this before for an Int team, so I'm very interested to see how it goes. And I was really trying to find like one of those normalized Int teams that you would normally find, but it literally took me ages. I was like refreshing for like five minutes and I couldn't find one. This is the closest thing I, I could find. So uh, with this team, definitely the scary things is Doflamingo. Big Mom can definitely be a problem. The longer the match goes, Big Mom will start doing more and more damage to our team, which could definitely be a big problem. Blackbeard launching his special continuously will be a big problem. And initially when Mihawk launches as well, we'll do a lot of damage to our team. So we are just hoping we can do enough damage that we can ASAP to take down the big hitters. But honestly, with the amount of defense and HP that this team has, could be a bit of a problem because Dofi, NL, and also Blackbeard, you know, they all provide like really good defensive buffs to the int and driven teams. So those are going to be kind of annoying to take down. But hey, Let's see how we go. I'm not too confident with taking on this team, seeing some pretty scary characters on the enemy side of the field there. Um, a lot of HP. What's their defense looking like? It's only level 6 right now, but I believe Dovi does boost defense upon attack. So, yeah, definitely want to make sure that uh, he goes down ASAP. But Dovi's always going to be one of the harder ones to take down, considering he's got some pretty high base defense. Plus, his passive is so good for his team, right? So let's see what happens here. We are going to get our first attack off, which is beautiful. Does actually a pretty good chunk of damage. I'm quite... Oh, and, and already Kid getting his special launch as well. Targeting all enemies. Nearly going to quickly KO that NL, which is really good. We're going to hit with Blackbeard, but luckily actually doesn't do too much damage. That's actually really, really solid right now. Dovey's going to come in and hit three enemies or three characters on our team. He does get... The, uh, the Rayleigh below 60%, which gives us the additional bonuses there. Do we get some paralysis off on the enemy? Uh, it looks like there was some resistance there, but no, we actually did get the Blackbeard. That's huge. And Corazon's going to give us a heal, which uh, actually we will get the reduce there because uh, Rayleigh now falls uh, below that threshold, but it's fine. But then we get it again, so it's fine. You know, as long as Rayleigh falls below 60%, we're good. Rayleigh does have his special. Mihawk is going to hit really, really hard here. Oh, okay. That was, that was actually not too bad. I don't think... Uh yeah, Mihawk didn't have that much attack, so it wasn't actually that big of a deal. But if he gets his attack up, that is a devastating blow. We get the Sword Master to actually attack a lot of enemies there, which is beautiful. Rayleigh's going to come in with the fixed damage, which I love to see against these high defense enemies. Who do we blow away there? Was that NL? Okay, NL and Mihawk. That's good. So they actually, uh, they actually lose a lot of defensive prowess there. 
Blackbeard is going to start hitting really, really hard. Rayleigh's actually getting quite low, so we might get one of our other characters to come in. Kid comes in with a huge wave, which is beautiful to see. Sober Mask is quite, quite close to getting another special, but he won't get it before the next uh, queue in, which is kind of annoying. Dofi could be a bit of a problem here. This is going to hurt. Oh, we actually do survive, which is wonderful. We actually have a lot of defense right now because of Rayleigh being uh, at, at the low threshold. Plus, he gave us a huge boost. We get a bit of health back from Corazon there, which is nice to see. Sober Mask or, or, or going to get his special off, which is beautiful. We do get the double hit as well. There it is. Sober Mask. See, there you go. When you're below 40 seconds, man, Sober Mask with the double hit. The double hit, dude, because he attacks for two times his attack. And if you're below 40 seconds in timer, it's an additional two times his attack into whoever he hits, right? So, Sober Mask is a fantastic character on the bench. For him to come in late game when the, when the timer is 40 seconds or less to get two huge hits in, it is phenomenal. But also has a really good passive, increasing speed and attack of your dex units. Absolutely phenomenal to see. So, that was a pretty interesting showing. I was un honestly kind of worried about that, but, you know, we didn't really see Katakuri uh, on the enemy side of the field. I wonder how the team would have performed against an enemy Katakuri. It would have been interesting to see, but that is the wrap-up of this video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Bring a bit of a different, a bit of a spicy team here with the dex team. I really, really wanted to go ahead and use this brand new PvP Rumble Sober Mask. I love the sprite animation of this character. He looks so so sick but there we go man i'm a big fan of this dex team it's not the best team in the world but it's a fun team for sure and look not all the characters on this team were completely maxed out and i definitely think if you had them maxed out i mean like corazon with more healing would be great i mean nami with a higher attack power and a higher chance to paralyze the enemy would also be really really good um i just think the decks in general needs a little bit of stronger characters to uh, to gain access to but currently at the moment you know as i said the dex team is not the best team but it's definitely a hell of fun team, and Legend Kid is a huge, huge asset to this team for sure. But that's going to wrap up this video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one, and if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.